When the 7.0 magnitude earthquake hit Port-au-Prince, Haiti, in January 2010, hundreds of thousands of people lost their lives as the city collapsed in on them. The devastation was so terrible because the majority of Port-au-Prince is built of under-designed concrete structures having little to no rebar reinforcement. The high cost of rebar is the reason for its limited use in developing countries such as Haiti. So my name is Nathan Schneider and I have Jenna Cox and Cody Whitelock working with me on this project. And it is our goal to research the feasibility of integrating bamboo into concrete elements as a sustainable and yet durable alternative to rebar. And if it proves successful, bamboo reinforced concrete could provide affordable and resilient housing to those most in need. So in this class, we're looking more into the economic, environmental, and social aspects of bamboo technology. So like Nathan said, one of the biggest things that we're going to look at is the economic impact. Um, what you see on the screen now is our diagram of how we're going to attack this uh, economic impact. Um, the first thing is the Haitians are the owners of the houses. Um, the next thing we're going to look at is how they're going to get the cash flow for that. So we'll look at NGOs um, and the Clemson Research Grant to help us with that. Then we'll go on and we'll be the consultants of the project um, talking to the builders, the NGO, um, the Haitians, and then also talking to the CIT, the Creative Inquiry, to discover the research and to make sure that it's going to be cost effect effective. Um, and then the builders can use that. We can train them um, using the consulting group to, to train the subs to build these homes. Um, one of the biggest things that we'll be looking at is the cost of rebar. Um, we did a cost analysis on that to see how much it would cost, and then once the CIT Creative Inquiry will get together um, and do their research, we can then do another cost analysis on that and compare them together to make sure that um, bamboo will be cheaper than rebar to use in reinforcement. After looking into NGOs in Haiti, we found several organizations that we would like to work with. These groups are already in Haiti working with the people to reconstruct housing and build futures. Through contacts with these NGOs, we can learn about Haitian construction practices and learn how to approach sharing our new idea and hopefully put it into practice. After looking into steel production for rebar, we found that steel produces over 220 million metric tons of CO2 equivalents per year, as well as 10 million tons of solid waste and residues annually. It also takes 75,000 gallons of water need to produce one ton of steel. Bamboo, on the other hand, sequesters CO2 and reduces 35% more oxygen than regular trees in a forest. Bamboo is also abundant and grows very fast. To further compare these two materials, we plan to do a detailed LCA. So just today, actually, we were able to go and explore a house um, built in the 1940s by Clemson University. And it was an part of an agricultural study researching bamboo reinforcement. And so we are actually able to to investigate it and actually bring back some samples to be tested later.